Hi, good afternoon. Uh, we will talk about, today we will talk about this uh, uh, enable GPU accelerated uh, on-prime uh, edge AI computing. So basically, uh, here, the workload is the AI workload. The environment we want to emphasize here is it's running at a edge, and it's, uh, we want to run in a container. For OpenStack, we want to run uh, in a Zoom pro using Zoom project. So that's uh, basically the purpose of this presentation. So uh, this is the environment uh, we want to discuss about how we, uh, where we use GPU. Uh, and uh, the for before, uh, if we focus on cloud computing, uh, the data from the edge, from the IoT device will uh, sent to the data center, and uh, the delay is very long uh, because data center have the, the GPU or the computational power, so it's uh, processing the data and uh, send, then send the decision back to the edge. So this introduce long latency, uh, and the, so uh, that's basically that's a model of the, the cloud computing. But for the edge computing, basically we move the computational power from data center to the edge side. Uh, basically here, uh, it's uh, on the far, uh, in this diagram, basically it's in the far end edge or the uh, edge aggregator. So why we, we need a GPU in this uh, environment? It's basically we, a lot of application right now require the GPU power. For example, if we handle uh, uh, AR, VR, which related to video, or we, we do some uh, algorithms related to uh, deep learning uh, trainings of the data uh, model, so that involves a lot of uh, computational power, which GPU can basically ac accelerate. Um, so, yeah, so basically there's a multiple applications uh, we can help with using GPU. And uh, we want, the, in this environment, we want to leverage, leverage the, the power of uh, containers. Um, so definitely the most important part for this is the isolation. Uh, especially when we talk about so many applications, different applications, the software stack usually are very different. So to use a common host or common bare metal server to run this multiple different software stack, container gave us the ideal environment to provide isolation and uh, portability as well. Uh, especially quite recently, the uh, GPU support on the container environment have some uh, advances. So. Uh, uh, now it's enabled on, on Docker containers, and uh, so that's why we want to integrate this work into OpenStack Zoom project. So for the OpenStack Zoom project, before we don't have the support for, for, for GPU. So this is ongoing work we are doing to basically schedule, so schedule the GPU resource uh, schedule the workload, uh, workload to the GPU resource and uh, monitoring the GPU resource. Uh, the work is not complete yet, but uh, our testing is based on the testing environment which have uh, this uh, uh, special uh, code enabled. And the, how, how do we use uh, the GPU uh, workload. Basically, uh, if you look at the top, this is a component deployed at data center. Uh, on the edge side, it's different. Uh, we call this deployment mode. Actually, it's the, the deployment mode is called DCN, distributed, uh, di distributed uh, uh, com computational compute compute node. So. In this mode, the networking between the data center to the uh, edge side is using a span leaf R3 network instead of 
have L2 network in, uh, involved. So, um, yeah, that's, a, that's a only uh, different than to deploy the DCN node in the data center. Uh, you can see that at the edge side, we, we usually, this uh, uh, one side rep uh, represents uh, one or two servers, basically. Uh, we have GPU power, we have enable some open stack component, including Zoom, um, to provide the contender capability. Um, so the left side of this diagram is copied from NVIDIA, which basically gave, gave in the, the reference architecture how uh, the container being used uh, in the GPU environment. So uh, we, I want to emphasize a, a few points here. Basically, um, on the host environment, the shared environment, we have to enable CUDA. We have to enable uh, NVIDIA driver. Uh, for Docker, it has much better support on GPU since the version 1903. Um, and right now, it's uh, naturally uh, enabled. We can have in the API, it's enabled. This new API actually supports GPU. You can specify one or more GPU uh, and assign it to the, to the container. And again, again, the container have their own CUDA environment, have their own software stack, which really help uh, to isolate different environment uh, to different uh, applications. Um, we test, uh, the, we test the, the, the solution based on uh, Lenovo hardware. Uh, it's called SR5, five, uh, 650, uh, which is a general purpose server. Um, basically, this hardware requirement, we, uh, ha hardware environment, we have two kind of GPU in, in, a, in one host to test. One is uh, NVIDIA V100, which is a, a, a newer version. Uh, and the Vin uh, NVIDIA K80 is kind of the old version, five years old about. So, so we just want compare the performance. Uh, um, and the software version is quite important here. We tried many uh, different versions. So, uh, and this is uh, uh, for kernel, especially for kernel versions, that uh, some kernel work, works for uh, virtual GPU, some not. So this is, we have to do some smart um, kind of research there. Um, but this is the final one. We, we, we use CUDA 10.1, Docker 1903, and we run it on Ubuntu, but um, yeah. So use this environment, we basically do, did some benchmarks. So the first benchmark we do is on each container, we just uh, assign a sing single GPU, and we test the different uh, ben benchmark algorithm to, to see what's, uh, what's the performance. If you look at number here, the number is the image per, uh, how many image the, the algorithm handle per second, uh, which is, this is the TensorFlow uh, benchmarking. It's, uh, it's uh, quite standard, so uh, there are lots of reference there. If you have interest, I can pass you the information later. Um, so basically, uh, if the, the ResNet uh, the very left one is the most common used benchmark for this kind of activity. Um, we can see they're quite different if uh, we use different uh, GPU card in this setup. Um, and the next test we are running is to see uh, how we can run multiple containers in one host, share one host, uh, especially we run multiple containers, share one GPU. So this is a scenario, basically we save cost, to have one GPU on, on, a, on a single edge server, because single, the edge server usually a small footprint, cannot have multiple GPU card. So this is quite important to see how many containers can share this one GPU without virtualized, without this virtual GPU technology. Um, so, 
uh, basically, we 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 we, we uh, the, the diagram show five five GP, uh, five containers share one GPU. Uh, in our test, we cannot uh, uh, when we increase the number to six, we basically find some container even cannot get GPU resource. And one another thing we want to show that is if we treat basically a single container using one GPU is utilization, for example, is 100 percent. Then uh, if we do the sharing or compete the GPU resource with multiple uh, containers, the performance basically uh, the the utilization is about 85 percent. So. Uh, there are definitely some uh, uh, penalty there. So, so basically, I want to summarize this uh, this presentation. We we basically uh, discuss how to enable GPU in the edge computing scenario, and uh, there are some in ongoing uh, work in the OpenStack Zoom project to support that. Uh, we also give some performance data. Thank you very much. Uh, questions. Mm -hmm.